Welcome back to the IGCSE Computer Science Code 0478 guide. This chapter, we will be discussing about high-level and low-level languages. This chapter, you will learn about low-level and high-level programming languages, the types of translators, syntax and logic errors, and an integrated or interactive development envir environment. First, a computer program is a list of instructions that enable a computer to perform a particular task. Programs can be written in high-level language. This allows a programmer to create a program without the knowledge of the hardware and set instructions of the computer. High-level languages are portable and can be used on most computers. Examples include Java, C++, Python, and Visual Basic. The advantages of high-level languages are it is easy to read and understand since it is closer to human language. Programs can be written in a shorter time since it is closer to human language. It is easier to debug during the development stage and it is easy to maintain once in use. Low-level language they make use of specific hardware and architecture of a particular type of computer. Low-level languages can be divided into machine code. This is the binary instructions that a computer can understand. It is often referred to as first-generation language. Assembly language. They make use of specific computer hardware and architecture, which will be then translated into machine code. It is often referred as second generation language. Programming in machine code is very time consuming, so the best way to implement special computer instructions is through assembly language, which is usually expressed in hexadecimal. The advantages of low level languages are it makes use of special hardware, it makes use of special computer instructions, programs perform tasks very quickly. Programs do not take much space in the primary memory. On the bottom right, we can see a program written in assembly language and the same program in machine code. In order for a program to be understood by a computer, they have to be translated into machine code. This is done by, by a utility program called the translator. The three types of translators are 1. Compiler a computer program that translates a program written in high-level language into machine code so it can be executed by the computer. Once a program is compiled, it can be used again and again without recompilation. 2. Assembler A computer program that translates a program written in low-level language into machine code so it can be executed by the computer. Once a program is assembled, it can be used again and again without reassembly. So we can see that a compiler and assembler are quite similar, except one translates from high-level language and one translates from low-level language. 3. Interpreter A computer program that reads a statement written in high-level language, performs its specified action, moves on with the next statement, and so on. Here are the main differences between each translator, taken from the IGCSE Computer Science textbook. Types of errors. 1. Syntax error. An error caused by a statement which does not obey the rules of the programming language. A program cannot be executed if it contains syntax errors. For example, 0 divided by 0. When a syntax error is found, the programmer is usually alerted to the place in the program where the error was found. On the right, we can see a syntax error in this person's calculator. However, I do not recommend writing syntax error for all your math answers like this guy, unless of course you want to fail. 2. Logic errors An error caused when a program doesn't do what the programmer wanted it to do. A program can be executed even if it contains logic errors, and they are found while the program is being run. For example, 
writing 2 times 3 instead of 2 to the power 3. Logic errors can be found by tracing the program and using test data with expected results. We will learn more about this in Chapter 9. Integrated Development Environment It is also known as an Interactive Development Environment. It is a software application that allows a user to create programs, usually in high-level language. It combines common developer tools such as text editor, interpreter, and or a compiler, and debugging tools into a single graphical user interface. Examples include NetBeans, Python Shell, and Microsoft Visual Studio. By the end of this video, you should know the difference between low-level and high-level programming languages, the advantages of each type of programming language, the three types of translators, which are compiler, interpreter, and assembler, types of errors, logic and syntax, and what an IDE is. Alright, we are now over halfway done with the syllabus. The resources used in the making of this video is shown to the right. I hope that you have found this video helpful and I hope that it has extended your knowledge on CS. I'll see you guys in chapter 8, which will be Computer Security and Ethics.